Okay. This is another boring mail bag. Um, it's going to be uh, part part of it will be today, and well, it's all going to be in one video. But I'm still waiting on some stuff. But I need to work on some projects, and can't wait any longer to um, open this stuff up. So. We'll just start. Um, of course, all this stuff pretty much comes from China. And uh, so this first one are a bunch of self-resetting fuses uh, ranging in amperage from half an amp up to uh, 12 amps um, 16 volt 1 amp 16 volt 12 amp and I think uh, 30 volt half an amp um, these are just going to be stuff I'm going to use to protect small projects from accidental short circuits and this is a th uh, throttle cable so I can finally finish my small DC generator. Um, I wanted something that come on. Uh, you could control the throttle and it would stay. Uh, this one has a configurable or a you can tighten this control how much tension on the throttle. These are um, something I'm going to try out. These are low voltage disconnects. Basically, when voltage drops below a certain amount, it removes the load. Instead of doing an alarm, it, it just turns off the load. This is humorous. I've been waiting for these to arrive and waiting and waiting and they've never showed delivered but I got them. These are just more of uh, low voltage alarms. I find these really useful and uh, they're getting harder to find so uh, these have a LED on them, which lights up. Actually, all of the ones I have have LEDs. Uh, slightly different manufacturer, 
But that's funny because I've been waiting for these. And... Oh well. And last. So these are sockets for 1156 lights. You might call, know them as uh, uh, the sockets you'd find on a car. Older cars more, but car. Um, these are going to be for for these. Bought these for the internal interior lighting on my trailer. So when I'm camping, um, these use a whole lot less power than the incandescent lights. Um, but I'm going to take the Rayovac lantern that I upgraded to lithium. Uh, ion batteries and I'm going to install these lights in it. Um, I've just been having too much trouble with the uh, with that lantern staying lit. I think it's got either loose connections or a component that's failing and it's, uh, it's too much of a pain in the butt to Troubleshoot while uh, without you know when it's if you take it apart to troubleshoot it you can't really run it so I'm just going to convert it over to LED and we'll see how that works that'll be in a later video so we'll just show you these are the uh, self resetting fuses. is the these are interesting they've got this tab on here I don't know why they left that and just a close up of the low voltage disconnect these can handle, it says 10 amps, 30 volts DC. I'd say that's, yeah, you could probably get away with that. And so this video will continue when I get. Uh, the rest of the stuff, which may arrive in the next week or so. Alright, so it's been about another week, and um, I got two more packages. I'm expecting a third, but who knows when it'll get here, and I'm tired of waiting. Um, the third package is big enough that I'll probably just do a, a whole uh, segment just on it not a opening or anything like that just uh, on what's in it anyways and also this is probably going to be the last boring mailbag for a long time um, the funds that I was using to buy a lot of the stuff over the last several months is drying up and probably won't have any any extra money like that for quite a while so you know anyways so you can see this is a nice package it uh, arrived wrapped in an old garbage bag that's classy and So what this is is a bit is a build uh, 
fan. Um, I got this after I watched an episode where Musty One was working on his beaver and he had one of these and seemed to blow a lot of air a whole lot more air than the uh, inline fan that I got that works up 120 volts this one's 12 volts 6 amps um, and we'll see how this thing works I may use it to replace the one that uh, I did a while ago or I may use this to make kind of like a uh, a vent for when you're when I'm welding or something like that um, anyways this is 270 cubic feet per minute and I love how these packages just arrive all crushed. And these are these are a bunch of buck converters, more buck converters. I think these can handle 10 amps. Um, they're joined together. Just break them apart. And I just mostly I've got these because I got tired of trying to make when I build things that need power, trying to find exactly the right voltage and exactly the uh, you know, using um, dropping resistors and voltage regulators that have to dissipate a lot of heat and so anyways this is uh, I believe number seven and probably the last boring mailbag for quite a while later <laughs>